pounds. You have three quarters of a pound of meat per person per serving. Here's a drumstick for you. <laughs> Just in case you actually doubted whether or not it was still tender and juicy. Mm. Oh, absolutely delicious and phenomenal. Yeah, that's phenomenal. Nothing else like it in Phoenix. everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Phoenix, Arizona. I have a very special meal to share with you for lunch today. It's called Little Miss Barbecue, and they serve the top of the line barbecue in all of Phoenix, Arizona, and I am thrilled to have a chance to eat here today. They open at 11 a.m., and I got here, it's exactly, let me just check my phone to, to confirm the exact time we got here. It is 9.54, and actually, like, there are a few cars in the parking lot now, but it will get packed. Uh, but actually, we don't even need to line up quite yet, because as soon as you come here, they give you a ticket. And so they start, uh, he told me that they start the tickets at 250. We got number 262, 263, 264, so we're number, number 12 in line. Oh, that's brisket? Yeah, that's brisket too. Hi, good. Good, I'm Scott. Mark. Mark, nice to meet you, man. My dad gave me the tour of the smokers here. Yes, he was cool. showing me around. Amazing. Nice. And did I, did I read these are a thousand gallon yeah, propane Yeah, thousand gallon propane tanks, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, and it's, all, it's cool. all indirect heat, so there's no heat underneath the ex no, directly? No, it's just heat coming from over here. Okay. So it comes out over there and just flows across, and then it just goes right out the exhaust. Wow. So it's pretty cool. How long do they smoke for? Uh, they're anywhere between, like small ones like this guy will take about eight hours. Okay. A bigger, bigger one like that will take 10 to 14. Okay. So it just depends on the size, depends on, depends on how marbled they are. Okay. Depends on how well we've been running the fire that day. And the owners and every all the staff here, they're extremely friendly, really nice. Uh, what's really cool, well, okay. I'm, I'm, they're almost, they almost look like submarines back here. They're so giant, but they're thousand gallon propane tanks. And it's a, it's a full smoking system. They, they put the wood here, they burn the wood here, and then the smoke just filters into the propane tanks. You can smell just the clean, smoky aroma of that pecan and oak wood. Uh, my, my meat hunger has, is at an all time high right now. Okay, so right now, it is 10, 12, so there's still 45 minutes until it opens, but it's starting to buzz. Uh, Scott was telling me that they're, they're gonna start taking off the meat now. People are starting to pull up, the line is starting to form, it's getting busier. I'm over here at the sausage smoker now. Look how many sausages are in here. They make all their own sausages, and just the smoke pouring out. This is a smoke sauna. My eyes are just tearing up, but that smoke, even the, most, the smoke smells incredible. Oh wow. That's smoky. It's smoke gets it, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Are they pork sausages? Uh, pork and beef. Pork beef when we put a little bacon in there. Oh. Just because bacon tastes good, right? It does. And it adds a little bit of fat to it, too. Yeah, you can see these kettlebells. They're 35 pound kettlebells, which are just hanging. Uh, but the lids probably weigh about 70 pounds, so just to offset the weight of the doors so you're not pulling those up every time, uh, they have a, a whole kettleball is needed. This just uh, speeds up the cooking process a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Everybody has all that smoky flavor that it needs. All right. If not, it'll just dry up. Beef ribs cool. uh, tend to dry up a lot quicker than uh, brisket and stuff like that, so. Okay. How many pounds of meat do you guys do per day? Oh, man. Let alone brisket, we usually do it. Um, right now, it's kind of, we're kind of slowing down, so it's around 400 pounds of brisket wow. just during the day. Of only brisket? Yeah, of only brisket. Oh. Yeah. Two weeks ago, we were probably uh -huh. running 1,400 pounds yeah. a day. Oh, this smoker going, this one full, that one full, that one full, and that one over there about half full every day. Wow. Yeah, it's a lot of meat. That is a lot of meat. Now they are wrapping the brisket, and the brisket is one of their ultimate meats. Yeah, they're wrapping it in paper. It's like wrapping a gift, but like one of the best gifts you could possibly ever get. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. Okay. You're like, nope, I'm good. <laughs> Got a little taste test of the brisket, and you can see that fat in there. You can see the. Oh, that's just a beautiful color. 
Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, that's insane. It's not even the best bite in the whole brisket right oh, there. Oh, man. But it's awesome. It is good, isn't it? Oh, so good. It's so fatty. It's so moist. Waiting in line in Phoenix and standing by those smokers, you need to you need to hydrate. I'm gonna quickly introduce you to my brother-in-law. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Derek, uh, he's here to eat some barbecue with us as well. And what's just mind-blowing? They go through, they smoke 1,400 pounds of meat per day. And actually, we're in the low season now because we're after the holiday season. Uh, so they said maybe it's about 900, maybe a thousand pounds of meat today. That's a low day. Oh, How's it wow. going, guys? Some house-made sausage wow. made with beef, Thank pork, and jalapeno. Much. It's very close to time. They're coming around with sausage samples. Oh, oh wow. How's that sausage? I didn't, I didn't even wait. You can't even get my... <laughs> it, it lasted all of five seconds. Absolutely delicious. Absolutely. Oh, you can taste the pepper in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's just one of the reasons why everyone's waiting in line. And I want to be one of the first to welcome you to Little Miss Barbecue! Yeah. All together now, nice and loud so my coworkers in the brick building can hear! Five, four, four three, two, two, one! David, open that door! And hey, ladies and gentlemen, we're open for business! Welcome to Little Miss! Come on in, guys, it's first day! We're moving in. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to smile, but that one's burning my hand. <laughs> oh, the wiggle. Oh. Did you get it? <laughs> that needs to be in slow motion. <laughs> Wow. There you go, you didn't get one, did you? There you go, dude. You want to do one? Two? Yeah. Uh, or however. Yeah, let me do these two, two right here. Pecan pie for dessert today, guys. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta have a. So you yeah, gotta, we gotta, if, we gotta. If you went we have to, right? Yeah, we gotta do some pie. Yep, I'm definitely. I'm gonna slide them in a bag just in case you want to take them to go and enjoy That's it later. That's a great idea. Okay. I think I we've managed to cover it all, so I'm gonna read what I've got. Okay. So those beef ribs came in at 2.4. Because you got the two single sides and the brisket uh, weight worked out, we're making it a brisket plate, that way it saves you a little bit of money. Thank we got you. no problem, man, no problem. I try where I can. <laughs> we got you 0.47 on the pork ribs today, 0.2 on the pulled pork, 0.23 on that turkey right over here, the can of Coke Zero, and the pecan pie. Uh, 92.70 is gonna be the grand total. Okay. All right, buddy. <laughs> Thank you very much. That is a Derek sized platter. Oh, yeah. Did you hear everything that we got? He rattled off our entire order and the amounts that we got. That's a lot of meat. Take the picture. Eat the food, take the picture all at the same time. Beef ribs. Oh, yeah. It's quite a line. This is when you tell them, like, I think you guys are out of food. Sorry. I think we a ordered it all. Oh, I love the smells. Okay, this platter of meat is gigantic and absolutely <laughs> insane. We got a little bit of everything, so there's at least five different types of meat, but the centerpiece, we absolutely, I think we have to start with the centerpiece, which is the beef short ribs, and they only make it Friday and Saturday, so we came on the right day. That's, that we did. Oh, <laughs> and you're wanting me to start this. This is just unbelievable. Oh, goodness. Here's a, here's a drumstick for you. <laughs> there's a perfect 
handhold. It's it's like it is like a drumstick. Just yeah, it's except it's the size of your your calf. Yeah. Look at the juices. Like if you press this down, there's okay. There's a crust of spice which is just caked onto the meat. Mm. Uh, but then if you press down, you can actually see the juices. Look at that. <laughs> You can just press down. Can't wait to taste. Oh, wow. Just in case you actually doubted whether or not it was still tender and juicy, just look at it. <laughs> oh, boy. Cheers, man. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that is almost impossible. How tender and juicy and fatty that is. I don't know if two is going to be enough. Oh, it just falls right off the bone. <laughs> no struggle whatsoever. Oh, look at that. Oh. Absolutely delicious and phenomenal. Yeah, it's unreal. You can't even believe it. It's so tender, it melts in your mouth. It's so juicy. It's one of the juiciest things you could possibly bite down on. And it literally just falls apart. But then you've got that crunchy crust with all of that spice on there. You can taste the pepper. You can taste how it's just smoked caked on there. This does not need any sauce because it's just fully embedded into the smoke. You actually have to be careful. <laughs> you got you to hold it upright so it has so it's sitting on the bone or it will slide so up. tender, it will just fall right off. It will off. slide up. <laughs> Take one more bite. And then I got to get back to work. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, that was the juiciest bite yet. That's crazy. That's crazy good. I don't know why I would ever order anything else. I really don't. <laughs> I would be, I would literally be happy just with the, the, the beef ribs. Yeah, and just but to think there's still a whole lot more to go. That's even better, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, Derek has to go back to work. He only came during his lunch break. Sad day. But thank you so much for, oh. for stopping by yeah, for a few I, bites. I appreciate it. And don't worry, don't, don't, worry, don't worry, he's not gonna go hungry though. He's got a takeaway, oh, yeah. he's got a takeaway box. Especially with the pecan <laughs> pie that you guys will hear about a little bit later oh, yeah. as well. Oh, oh yeah. we got that to look forward to. Enjoy the time. Cool, man. Thanks, Thanks for stopping by. All right. Have a good one. sad that I'm gonna have to set these beef ribs down, uh, set this giant bone, but the happy news is I'm moving on to the brisket. So brisket is what they are most known for here and I've already had a couple of taste tests of, oh wow, oh that just, it, it's, it's like one of the softest things you'll ever feel. Oh wow, it's so tender that it's almost like it has some elasticity to it. Not in a rubbery kind of way whatsoever, but in the most juicy kind of way you can possibly imagine. That's absurd. Melting in your mouth is an understatement. I'm gonna chase that with a jalapeno. Yeah. You need to take bites of vegetable like that to offset the richness of that meat. Well, it just tastes good. It, it, it complements everything. I'm gonna try some of the sauce next. The spicy sauce, the house sauce, and the sweet and tangy mustard. Oh wow, <laughs> my fingers are so slippery that it's hard to, to take off the cap. You know for sure I'm going for some of that spicy barbecue sauce. But I mean the meat is so good you actually don't need anything. But since it's here, I gotta try it. Okay, I gotta go one more little piece of brisket. Oh, that just, you can squeeze your fingers together and break off a piece. It's amazing with the barbecue sauce too. That gives it that tangy, like sweet sauciness to it. But, and, then, and then as you keep on chewing, you first taste that barbecue sauce and then that smoky meat really comes through. I'm in a completely new meat world right now. Okay, next up, this is the pulled pork, I believe. Oh, look at that pinkness. Look at that smoky pinkness under there. Wow. Just like everything so far, that's superb. It's phenomenal. 
it's melt in your mouth tender. It's you can taste the pure smoke in that meat. Mm. I'm just like at maximum happiness right now. I'm gonna take a little meat break and try some of those beans. Even the beans look fantastic. Mm. Oh, they have an amazing smokiness to them too. Mm. Oh yeah. Another side we got is the cheese and jalapeno grits. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's that's fantastic. It's um. You can really taste the jalapeno coming in there. And then, yeah, it does have a cheesy flavor as well. There's still a lot of meat on this tray, but it's slowly going down, and I am just loving every single bite more and more. I'm gonna move over to some of the other meats that we got. There's, I think there's still three more meats that we gotta try on this platter. I already had a taste of this impressive sausage, and we saw them cooking it, and we had a taste it test in the line, but we gotta take another bite of that sausage. It's just crazily good, or maybe, two or three slices in a bite. Okay, and if you look into the depths of this sausage, get a really close up look at that composition. You can see the little pieces. I think there's some jalapeno in there. You can see the pieces of black pepper. Uh, Scott mentioned to me that there's some bacon in here and also a mix of beef and pork. All house made, smoked. It's got that like little bounce to it. The perfect texture. The pepper comes in really nicely. It's salty. It's so, so good. Now, turkey breast is a meat you might over skip, and actually I might have skipped as well, but I, I wanted some of everything. And as I was ordering the turkey breast, one of the carvers, uh, he said that the turkey breast is actually his favorite item of the entire, well, he just loves to eat, of course, too, but he said the turkey breast is, the, is his favorite. Mm. Oh. oh, yeah, okay. I can tell you for sure that's the leanest piece of thing that I've put in my mouth so far, but it's not dry at all. It's juicy, it's unbelievably smoky. Again, you have that pepper crust and spice crust that complements the whole, the whole meat feast. This would go great with some of that barbecue sauce. Oh, it just flakes apart. Delicious. I think we're down to the last meat, which is the pork ribs. It's a little bit smaller, I can definitely say, from the beef rib, but it looks impressively delicious as well with that crust, that smoked, yeah, it's juicy. I mean, it's absolutely awesome. But after having the brisket and the beef ribs, it's probably not as good as it would be like on its own if you were eating it. I mean, it's amazing. The, 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 the beef ribs and that brisket just kind of dwarf dwarf it for me. It's still awesomely good. You know something I've just been thinking about? Because the meat is so incredibly tender, you can eat really fast and like you you, you, you don't have any self-control. You're barely even chewing. I mean a baby could eat this meat. You could chew with your gums. It's so tender but you don't realize how full you're getting and how rich the meat is. But until you kind of stop and kind of take a take a rest, kind of take a little breather, a meat breather, uh, but and then you realize how much meat you've already consumed, but you've only taken like about ten bites. You've only chewed ten times. It's so tender, <laughs> and that completes all six different types of smoked meat. Oh, I'm I'm at an all-time happiness right now. This is just like a fistful of meat that came off that rib. It's, it's so soft. That's one of the best single bites of meat you could possibly taste. Okay, the final thing that you have to eat at Little Miss Barbecue is their famous pecan pie, which is also smoked, I believe. Oh, that's a little, a little personal beauty right there. Okay, I'm gonna try to go deep into this pie to get some of the layers of everything and to really go to, into the depths of this pecan pie. Oh, oh, look at that. You have to see a close-up of that coming out. 
pie, you can see that gooiness, you can see the crunchy, crusty layer on top, and those pecans and the crust. Wow. Okay, that, that's impressive. Mm. Mm. I'm not huge on sweets. I usually prefer to fill up on all meat. Well, oh, but I did. But a couple bites of this pecan pie, that's, that's unbelievable. The nuttiness, the gooey sweetness, it's like, it's like nectar. What a way to finish an unbelievable meal. I think I might be on a water diet for the rest of the day. This is one of those meals where I might have to put my belt onto the next, the next notch. And you might have to do the same after you finish eating here. Oh, that feels so much better. I should have done that while I was eating. Their, their friendliness, their passion for smoking meat. Their, their service. I mean, every when you're sitting there eating, they will walk around multiple staff and the owners. They'll walk around. They'll ask you how you're doing. They'll ask how your meat's, you know, your meat's going. Uh, but they're so, and you know, it's like that. When you do something that you love, you automatically have a passion for it, and you have such that 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 genuine friendliness that that can only come because you love what you do so much and you love the people that you get to interact with. So huge thank you to Scott and Becky and the entire staff. You are all absolutely awesome. The meat is, it will blow your mind. You have to get, it's almost impossible to choose a favorite meat because they're all good and they're all different. But those, oh man, I'm, 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 I'm under a little bit of a, the meat influences right now. Uh, but those short ribs, those beef short ribs, Will, will change your life. That's all I can say. That's gonna be it for this Little Miss Barbecue video. I'm gonna go retire for the day now. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna be publishing lots more food and travel videos. Oh, and finally, also click that little bell icon and that way you'll be notified of all the future videos that I post. Thanks again for watching. I will see you on the next video.